it's one of my first living memories of, of MBTI really uh, when mm. I was working on a team in, in Philips a long time ago and together with my boss at that time, a uh, very nice woman from, from the UK, we were working on um, a tender. We were selecting training providers for a leadership development program. And we got the offers from, from several companies, you know, and, and, and all these offers were on the table and we were pretending that that uh, a tender is an objective process. So we were using criteria mm. and, and right. you know, all of that. The funny thing was that when I had the discussion with my boss about which proposals we liked, there was, there was, we, we both couldn't understand what the hell was going on. I mean, the, the proposal she loved were to me the yeah. worst I'd ever seen. And oh, and the other way around, the proposals I loved, she said, yeah, but there's nothing behind it. And we we analyzed it for a while and we, we came to realize that that was pure MBTI at work. That was really mm -hmm. my, my very strong preference for S. So I was looking at these proposals for, what is it exactly that you're going to do? Which models do you use? What what mm -hmm. In what way are you gonna engage our target audience? I all these kind of questions. The way she had looked at the proposals was, does it, does it fit our vision? Do they have their own big dreams about leadership development? And, and do they put that down in the proposal? And, hmm. and, the, and, and when training providers did it, she loved it. Well, I was right. thinking, this is, this is bollocks. This is fake language. I, I, I mean, it doesn't mean a thing, this sentence. So right. yeah, that was big fun.